Okay, now with this recording, I'm going to show you how to convert in the non-metric system. So let's review, though, again, the slick thing about moving the decimal point in the metric system Well, looking at that chart. So again, if you have a liter, here is a thousand milliliters or one liter. A standard paper clip is one gram, and then we would have a meter stick. Again, it works out perfectly for all three of these quantities, you can simply move the decimal point. So again, if you had a thousand of these liters, you would have a kiloliter. If you had a thousand of these grams, you'd have a kilogram. If you had a thousand meters, you have a kilometer. If you took this gram and divided it up into a hundred equal pieces, you would have a centigram. If you divided this liter up into 100 equal pieces, you'd have a centiliter. And if you divide the meter stick up into 100 equal pieces, you'd have a centimeter. If you divided this paper clip up into a million pieces, smaller pieces, you would have a microgram. If you divided this liter up into 1,000 pieces, you would have a microliter and, excuse me, a million pieces. If you divided the liter up into a million pieces, you'd have a microliter. If you took this meter stick, this entire thing, and divided it up into a million smaller pieces, you would have a micrometer. It works for everything. Now, one of the first things that brought about changes to the metric system uh, was automobile tooling. So wrenches and uh, metric system now. So I'm going to show you how to calculate what's called dimensional analysis. Other names for it are factor label method, unit analysis, or what I like to say is unit cancellation. I like to call it unit cancellation. Now, this, just to prove to you that this works, I propose this um, if you have this rectangle and this is two feet and this is three feet the area of this and you actually could do this six square feet right the area is the length times the width and it is two feet or three feet it doesn't matter how you do it three feet because you can put it the other way well two times three is six and feet times feet is feet squared well what if you had this what if I said this is two feet and this whole thing is eight square feet what's this side well, you can say then 8 feet equals 2 feet times x. How would you find x? Oops, I'm sorry, 8 feet squared. How would you find x? You would take 8 feet times 8 feet, that's my feet squared, divided by 2 feet to get x. And notice these units now I do the numbers reduce. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Feet over feet cancel out. So we know that the answer should be 4 feet, right? Well, you have to get your unit to cancel out as well. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do unit cancellation like that. It doesn't matter. We could have had you know, eight square feet like this, and we could go one over a foot or something. As long as you have a unit in the numerator, and we could put this over one, it will cancel out with a unit in the denominator. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to show you how to do what's called unit cancellation, factor label, unit analysis. 
So here's an example. This is inches. So you have 13 sixteenths inch wrench equals how many millimeters? Now, the first thing you should do here, probably the easiest thing to do, is let's put that 13 sixteenths in the decimal. So 13 divided by 16, this is 0.8125 inches. Now, we just need a true mathematical statement here. I call this a conversion H. If you watch the Tyler DeWitt videos, when he does conversions or Bozeman science, he'll put a multiplication sign in there. I just like to put this uh, into some kind of a fraction. So realize we could put this over one. We don't really need to, but you could. Now, all we need to do is if we have inches here, we need to put inches down here. On, we got to get rid of inches. We need to cancel those units. Then I'm going to put this in here. All we have to do is put a true mathematical statement uh, in here. For example, a true mathematical statement could be, you know, one foot equals 12 inches. Then I could put it one foot over 12 inches. Or, depending upon what I want to do, I could put the 12 inches on top and the 1 foot on the bottom. It doesn't matter. As long as we put in here a true mathematical relationship, we could go 1 yard, 36 inches, or 36 inches, 1 yard. Okay? True mathematical statement goes in here. But, what you want to do is make sure whatever unit you start out with here, you have to put that unit down below to cancel it. So I'm going to go one inch, and I'm using this one, 2.54 centimeters. You haven't seen that yet. 2.54 centimeters. Now, I will also get you along with the some reference sheets, maybe you've got something like this, and you'll have Desi in here. So somewhere along the line I've emailed or I've probably mailed this to you so it's in the right color. Okay. Now inches would cancel out. Now I have centimeters and I don't have millimeters yet. So we know that there here there is 10 millimeters in a centimeter so I'm gonna put that in or I could go back to my chart and move the decimal point but let's just do this one centimeter is 10 millimeters and then I could stop right there again centimeters centimeters once I have the unit I'm looking for I stop I'm gonna take my calculator and I am going to go 0.8125 times 2.54, 0.8125 times 2.54 times 10. And I'm going to get a wrench that is going to fit that. If I get 20.6 millimeters, I'm going to need a 21 millimeter wrench to fit that, right? 21 millimeter would do it. Okay, now let me really show you a unit cancellation method. 1.2 decades to seconds. Now make sure you know how to do this. Don't, oh, there's an app for that. We don't have an app with you all the time. Um, I'm going to give you some things on the test that you're going to have to know how to convert. You know, 10,000 uh, soldiers need to ride a ship, 10 uh, soldiers in one ship, and that two ships will burn 10 gallons of gas. I mean, there's all kinds of converting we can do. So don't rely on an app. 
so what do we got here? 1.2 decades. Okay, I'll put DEC for decades. I'm going to put a conversion H down here. Again, if you watch some videos from somebody else, they'll put a multiplication here. But I think this, this uh, separates it better. If I have decades here, I know I'm going to put decades down here. Now, what's a conversion you know for decades? Hopefully, there's only one you know. Because if you know how many decades are in a second, then you shouldn't be taking this class. One decade is 10 years. Decades are going to cancel out. Okay. Now, I'm going to keep going until I get seconds up here. Just keep going. You can do this in one, two, three, four, five steps. It doesn't matter how many steps as long as what you put in here is a true mathematical statement. One year is 365.25 days. You want the .25 days because every four years is leap year. Years cancel out. I need to keep going because I don't have seconds. One day, 24 hours, days cancel out, one hour is 60 minutes, one minute, 60 seconds. And I'm done because I'm looking for seconds and I have seconds, then these units are going to cancel out. Again, all you have to do is put true mathematical statements in here, but your units, top and bottom, are the same, so they cancel out. Right? These have to be the same units in order to cancel until you end up with the unit that you want at the end. So we would take our calculator and we would just multiply that all the way through. Now, we could have did this ending in one step. We could have put one hour, 3600 seconds. Then we get 3 point, uh, two sig figs here. We'll go 3.8 times 10 to the 3, 6, it looks like times 10 to the 8 seconds. Yeah, 10 to the 8 seconds in scientific notation. Okay, so that's a quick introduction to canceling units. So in the metric system, we don't have to worry about the time one we'd have to do the same. But again, everything works in the metric system by moving the decimal point. But look at this mess in the English system. This is absolutely crazy that we are teaching our kids stuff, this stuff. Absolutely crazy. It makes no sense. They cannot make any rational relationship. Because what we do is we give them a ruler in third grade and the very first thing you have to do in the English system is figure out how many divisions there are in the inch. And in this case, this is in eighths of an inch. Well, the only thing they know is there's eight ounces in a cup. Then the next time, what do we tell them the next year in fourth grade? Oh, well really there's 16 divisions in an inch. Well, 16 divisions in an inch, does that mean now there's 16 ounces in a cup and not 8? I mean, these kids are so smart, they're always trying to make relationships, and we just, we have a, just an archaic system that has to be gone. There's nothing, nothing, nothing that relates back and forth at all. So, we'll do a problem here, problem set 2. Uh, we have 2 and 3 eighths yards. So this is 2.375 yards. And we want to go to inches. 
Now when I teach this class face to face this here, I keep track of who does this in one step and who does it in two steps. Yards here, I know I'm going to put yards down there. And most do it, students do it in two steps. One yard, three feet. But I don't want feet, I want inches, so one foot, 12 inches, and I'm done because I have inches. That's what I'm looking for. The other way to do this problem in one step is to go 2.375 yards and go one yard is 36 inches. Which one's right? They're both right. So, if we just multiply this out, we get 85.5 inches. So this is how we have to do the English system. We can't just move the decimal point right and left. Now, this is how we have to do it in the English system. Please, please, please convert your units. Make sure you put true mathematical statements in there. Now, let me say one more thing. If you have a problem like this with your calculator, Let's say you've got 2.6 times 892. I'm just making this up. Let's say you've got something like this in your calculator. What you want to do is multiply from left to right on top hit equals and divide, hit your division key, the same as the number of numbers you have in the denominator. So what you would do for this is you go 2.6 times 892 times 0 0.015, hit equals. Now, let's divide from right to left, divide by 22, divide by 16.75 equals. That is the most efficient way to use your calculator. And we would get for this one 0 .0, 0 0.0944. Okay, I went over 15 minutes accidentally on this one, so we will sign off until the next one.